Oh, sorry, camera's on. Hey, how y'all doing? A little while back, I got a few emails asking about what I was using for drawer pulls in the shop. Uh, well, quite honestly, <laughs> quite honestly, it was two. <laughs> y'all ought to pay more attention. But seriously, uh, some people liked what my idea for my drawer pulls and wanted to know how I did them. And believe it or not, I actually put a lot of thought into those drawer pulls. I looked at many different types, some uh, wooden ones that I've made for the shop, which came out real nicely, but tend to break now and then in rough abuse. Uh, some store-bought ones, but they all come with those little 1032 screws and just don't hold up well. And I wanted something that would last a long time, like forever. So I put my brain on and started thinking a little bit and got all wound up and crazy. And uh, I think I came up with a pretty good solution. Looks pretty cool. I'll show it to y'all, see what you think. If it'll help you out in your shop. And if you do it right, it's even dirt cheap to do. So take a look, tell me what you think. Hope you like it. And please remember, give us that subscribe button. Gotta have them, love to have them. Always appreciate those great big thumbs up. None of those thumbs down now, okay? We gotta be nice. I give them all to everybody the thumbs up. So let's give them a thumbs up. Makes people feel good, motivated, and bringing out more videos for entertaining you guys or for not entertaining you guys and you don't like them. So, let's take a look at some drawer pulls. Aha. These are the ones I build in the shop that I use mostly. They're made of stainless steel and I'll show you how I do them. Alrighty, this is a two and a half inch stainless steel plain Jane lag bolt. You don't have to use stainless steel, plain regular lag bolts will work. They cost like 40, 50 cents a piece. Stainless steel a little higher, around a dollar, dollar fifty a piece, depending on what bulk you buy them in. So what I'm basically going to do is cut part of the threads off of the bolt to make it a little shorter because I'm only screwing it in to three quarter inch, five eighths inch, uh, with the backer sometimes one inch. Don't want all that extra bolt sticking out so we're gonna cut it off real simple to do just clamp it up in a vise and chop it off with a hacksaw grinder uh, my favorite choice Milwaukee just get it clamped up in there put a little oomph on it we have the power and cut the bolt off goes in the scrap pile. Then you have your sharpened bolt. Not drawer pull yet, bolt. Alrighty, what I'm going to do here is take these manufacturing marks off the front of the bolt with the grinder and then polish it up on a sander real quick. They have a little bit of sharp edges on them, so I'll show you all what I do about that real quick. As simple a process of this is, it makes a great cabinet pull that will outlast the drawer. <laughs> I was hoping to throw sparks for you, but stainless steel doesn't throw too many sparks. There we go. Take the marks off. Now we're going to clean it up on a sander. 
Okay, let's polish it up and make it look all pretty light. You can do this with a handheld sander. You can even do it with sandpaper. If you don't have a grinder, use a file to knock the manufacturing marks off real quick. Cut it with a pair of pliers and a hacksaw if you have to. You don't have to have a bunch of fancy tools. It do get real hot though, real quick. There we go. Nice and shiny. Okay, now we're going to come back to the grinder, or if you don't have a grinder, a file, although a grinder is a lot better, and I'm going to take the end off and taper this point here where the threads go in. Makes it a lot easier to go into the hole. <laughs> All right, hope y'all can see that. I just rounded off the tip of it. Better, worse, better, worse. No, okay, I'm kidding, I'm sorry. <laughs> All righty, now what's gonna turn this little bolt into a cabinet pull handle? This is a 3 8 lag bolt. The longer the bolt, the more flush you're gonna have between the threads and the head of the bolt, sorry, right? I like to use a two and a half inch bolt. It leaves me with that one inch pull right there. With a three eighths lag bolt and a five sixteenths inch stainless steel washer. If you're using regular bolts, regular washer. Galvanized bolts, galvanized washer, okay? The washer, all washers, are finished on one side. One side is not finished. 9,000 times out of 9,001, you don't care. It's just a bolt and a washer. But you're making a cabinet pull out of these. So you want that pretty end of the washer. A 5 16 washer, when it's threaded onto this lag bolt, will seat. It will not go all the way up which is going to give us our stop and which gives us that final look cabinet pull. Then you've got to get high tech. Get a drill. Drill. Mark your hole. Check. Twice. Double check. Drawers 22. Hole at 11. Divided by 3. Double the increment should be five and three quarters. Yes, I already did this drawer, but I wanted y'all to see it. Okay, five sixteenths inch bit. My hole's already there, yes, but if it wasn't, still five sixteenths inch bit. That way the bolt will bite into it nicely. Drill it out. Clean away your dust. Here comes the high-tech part. You need a wrench. The devil on everything you do is in the details. If something is worth doing, it's worth doing right. That handle will outlast anything you could buy, all right? Now, that's not good enough. We're not finished. I'm going to see if I can zoom in here for y'all. Uh, I can't from that angle. But I want all the bald heads 
level and consistent. That's a little hard to do with the ratchet. So I'm going to take the box wrench, give it an eye, and get it level so they're all across. 50 years from now when that drawer wears out and has to be replaced, you can take out that door hardware and use it all over and over again. It won't rust, the paint won't flake, it won't break, it won't come loose. You honestly can't ask for a better cabinet pull in a shop condition. So give it a try and see what you guys think. Okay, I hope y'all find that drawer pull handy. I sure like it. And it goes well with the stainless steel countertops. And uh, by the way, I didn't get a chance to mention a while back, although these countertops are stainless steel, there's a piece of quarter inch steel plate underneath them, which means I can still use my magnetic tools on top of the stainless steel countertop with the advantage of having the easy to clean countertop of the stainless steel. So, thought I'd let you know, I forgot. I guess somebody asked me about that. And uh, also, I'm gonna show you a couple of pictures of a few of the wooden cabinet pulls that I've made. I liked them, but I have had them break in the past, so that's why I really like the stainless steel one. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Give us those thumbs up. Please subscribe. Hey, I do that pretty good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. Thank you, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Going to get some more info out here to you shortly. Oh, and by the way, uh, the snapshots I put in my full wood shop tour, several people asked me about the posters that I have hanging in the office. I collect autograph movie posters and memorabilia posters so here in the future I'll do a little video on those not related to woodworking I'll put them out under collectibles but if you guys want to check them out I'll get them out there thanks now bye I said bye it's over <laughs>